Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Haas coming at you with a new video. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain the basics of TSM, how to install it, how to get a simple group and operations imported into TSM, and also how to export those out of TSM. Uh, so we're going to start with that, and then the second part of uh, this video will be uploaded shortly after it will be a little TSM sniper guide. So you'll kind of see exactly how to set up um, a TSM sniper guide and how to use that to properly make some gold. So first off, you want to head over to the TSM website, so that could be TradeSkillMaster.com. Next, once you're at the website, you want to go ahead and click on Install TSM. Now you have your two options of the TSM WoW add-on and the TSM app. Keep in mind these are two different uh, separate programs. One is actually operating in WoW, and one just talks with the... Uh, I guess um, a bigger server that constantly scans TSM. So we'll talk about the app in a minute because we will want that. But first, we want to go ahead and download the WoW add on. So if you click on this link, it'll take you over to the curse link. Luckily, I have that open right here. And you can just go ahead and either install it via the curse client or find some other way to download it. Um, <clears throat> my one caveat about the curse client is keep in mind that uh, sometimes when you install less trusted add ons on the curse client, um, it can potentially leave your account open to risk of hacking. Uh, so please be careful of that. Keep that mindful. Don't, you know, download any fishy. Um, fishy things but we do all know that fat loots gold is a pretty legit guy so we should be fine to use his TSM suite and and have some good success so we'll go ahead and uh, leave that there so you just install it like you would normally install anything on the curse client if you're not installing it on the curse client just make sure you're putting it in your add-ons folder in the WoW directory so shifting over to the TSM app, what the TSM app does is it gathers information from previous scans that have been done, either by TSM themselves or maybe some users. I'm not exactly sure where it gets the data, but I do know that it scans the auction notes quite frequently. What it does is it uploads the information to your desktop app, and then that desktop app puts that information inside the WoW directory in the add-ons folder, so you have all of that information once you're in World of Warcraft. So you want to go ahead and download the Windows edition. You'll download that there and then just start it up. Sorry for my taskbar being up. I don't know which program it is, but most likely it's League of Legends because why else? So actually, it looks like uh, this is a good thing that I've done this because it looks like I have an old version of the TSM app. Of course, if you have a version of the TSM app, this will come up. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit yes and I'll just do a complete uninstall of my app. It's just asking me on the back end, do I want to remove the settings? I'm saying no, because I want to install it back. Oh, so next. Yes, obviously you won't get that pop-up because I already had the app installed at one point. Um, and I didn't want to delete all my stuff. The following applications are using this. Oh, is it, it, oh it's open right now. So let's close that. Here we go. Once the app's installed, it should just be findable uh, for you. Um, typically, I can't find anything with Windows 10, so I just type in TSM in my search bar, and then I load it up there. After that, you can log in with your email and address that you set up on the TSM website, so you can obviously see that I'm logged in here. So you will need to go ahead and create a profile. So let's go ahead and talk about the profile first before we look into the ins of the TSM app. Uh, so let's say you've created your profile, everything's all ready, and you want to go ahead and select your realm to have scans. So hit realm select, and then select the realm that you want to enter. So say I just started playing on, I'm going to try Illidan, and just hit add realm, and there we go. Now obviously if you're playing in EU as well, you can do that with EU. Uh, so just make sure you're uh, selecting the correct region that your server is in. Now that we've finished all of that, we're going to go ahead and log into the add-on. Your first pop-up will be this pop-up asking if you accept the terms of use of TSM. You can read it by clicking there, but who the hell reads terms of use? So click OK. That'll load up, and you can see my account name is at the top. It's just looking for any of the information. So right now I believe it's pulling my old settings. So I just gotta wait for a few moments, let it pull my old settings, and then eventually it'll start talking with um, with the scanner. 
so there we go everything's populated so I have my obvious uh, servers so I have my US and EU global uh, which um, I, I believe will just give us like a global um, apparently uh, getting pro gives you like some access to deals I, I don't know I don't pay for it so um, I would just avoid that entirely you can just scan everything on the auction so you don't need premium to make gold so now we have Illidan there, so if you had added Illidan, you would see that. And then you can obviously see my other servers. So they're all updated um, whenever they get updated. I, I don't exactly know um, it, when it gets updated, but I believe it's every couple minutes it, it starts pulling data. So I think it's more of a live scan. And I think they have some sort of system that constantly scans the auction house. So I believe that that's how that works. So now that we're done that, we have our app installed, we have our add-on installed, we're going to go ahead and log into WoW and start playing around with it. Alright, so here I am on my level 20 human uh, paladin. Uh, so we're going to be looking at TSM in its fresh state. So I open up TSM, this is the page we'll be confronted with. Sometimes it's very daunting to see all the extra pages, but I assure you it's a lot easier than you think. Um, so there's a few things that you want to do first you'll notice that you don't really have any data um, you may have some searches and obviously these are my searches that I've done recently because I already have TSM so that data doesn't get deleted but you will see that once I open TSM up in the mini map uh, I don't have anything set up here so you can see everything's pretty empty so looking at the features we want to go ahead and take a look at groups this is where you're going to be mainly able to add groups make them uh, you know groups of items or whatnot so if I go to groups and say herbs and yes I do say herbs uh, click OK and then you can go ahead and select all the herbs that you want to be in this group so let's say peace bloom and whatever so we'll go ahead and add those now let's say we want to go ahead and put a operation to those so we can't just go ahead and post any of these or anything like that but if we go into operations and you have the multitude of operations so you have auctioning crafting mailing shopping vendoring and warehousing so this it just um, dictates what uh, is done to the items in each specific group so if I type in another operation name and it doesn't matter if you name them the same you can use the same operation for all of your auctions if you wanted to I don't really think that's a good idea but you can um, obviously you can put your minimum uh, prices and everything uh, but what's really good here is you can uh, choose the stack size in your post cap so how many you want on the auction house at one time and how big your stacks are um, so all of those options are there uh, once you have that set up then you can go back to your groups and select herb then go operations and under auctioning select herb so that gives you that selection just make sure that you finish all of uh, your operations there now what most of you are going to be doing isn't actually doing that so we want to go ahead and clear this operation we're also going to go ahead and delete this uh, group entirely so delete that group we're going to go and delete this operation what most of you are going to be doing is you're going to be inputting a string um, what I'll do is I'll leave this string as a sample string uh, in a paste bin uh, for you guys in the comments or in the I'll leave this uh, string as a um, I'll leave this string as a practice string I'll leave this string as a sample string in your paste bin or in paste bin I'll leave this string as a sample string in pastebin. Uh, what you can do is uh, use this if you would like. Um, I'll kind of go into this actually in the next episode. So if you watch this episode and you're using this string, um, be sure to watch that episode to show you how to use that string. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your groups. Uh, this string is a sniper string specifically. So I am going to name it sniper. And I'm going to click OK. After that, I'm going to go import export. I'm going to copy my string and then paste the string. Make sure also to include um, 
any grouped items if you are importing a string like this um, because if you already have groups made then it's not going to pull those items from the groups it's going to leave them in the groups that they were previously assigned to so if you want them all moved over here then I would do so click OK and then everything process and now you can see in my groups I have sniper and I have all of these subgroups with all of these different items inside the subgroups um, also if I look at my operations um, for a lot of the stuff you probably aren't going to see any operations but if we go to some you'll see operations are applied if there aren't any operations that just means that it's buddying up on uh, the primary operations so I wouldn't worry too too much about that uh, but uh, this uh, specifically here will uh, import your operations and uh, your groups so this string probably isn't the best example of um, getting a normal say inscription string with all of the glyphs or anything like that um, but the string will uh, you know serve other purposes so the string is valuable in a lot of ways just not in the ways that is uh, normally used in those cases so let's go ahead and uh, do an export so say you have a friend that really wants to use your string um, and you want to give it to them so you can go ahead and go to your import export and here you want to do include your subgroup structure and include operations export the group items and it'll give you a big long list here you literally copy and paste this and send it to your friend in a notepad file or anything like that if you're hosting anything on the internet to make sure that you're using pastebin um, typically pastebin or some other service like that is a little bit more trusted so uh, make sure that you are using a trusted um, um, source for your strings as well. Uh, I only grab mine off of uh, subreddits and, and pastebin. So make sure that you are getting all of this information from a proper source. Uh, after that, everything's imported, everything's good to go. So that's basically how you install TSM, get everything up, and start making groups, groups and operations. Uh, that's all I have for you on this video. I'm going to go ahead and make another video for the sniper string that I just uh, featured to you guys. So we'll be talking about that in the next video. So go ahead and watch that and see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get down. Get down. I know, I know. I love you, but you can't be up here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Okay. You need to go. I know. But you need to, like, get out. I know you're curious about everything that's going on here. What? Okay. You need to get off my desk now. Should I...